The Presidential Election Petition Court sitting in Abuja is getting set to deliver its judgment on the three petitions seeking to nullify President Bola Tinubu's election, as is customary before fixing the judgment date. The five-member panel, led by Justice Haruna Samani, has directed all parties in the matter to appear before it on Tuesday to adopt their final briefs of argument. The court, in a notice it sent to the parties, invited them to adopt their written address with respect to the petition that was lodged against President Tinubu by a former vice president and candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and the candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Ubi. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had on the 1st of March 2023 announced Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the ruling All Progressives Congress as a winner of the February 25 presidential election ahead of 17 other candidates that contested the election. According to INEC's declaration, Tinubu scored a total of 8,794,726 votes to defeat the two major contenders, Atiku Abubakar of the PDP, who came second with a total of 6,984,520 votes, and Obi of the Labour Party, who came third with a total of 6,101,533 votes. However, dissatisfied with the outcome of the election, Atiku and Obi approached the court to invalidate it. In their separate petitions, the duo claimed they won the presidential poll, even as they challenged Tinubu's eligibility to contest the election and therefore urged INEC to withdraw the certificate of return issued to him. Alternatively, they're asking the court to order a fresh presidential election, excluding President Tinubu, who they argued was ab initio not qualified to participate in the poll. On July 5, the court concluded its hearing of Atiku and Ubi's petitions. Ubi closed his case after calling 13 witnesses who testified and tendered several documentary exhibits. Atiku produced 27 and equally tendered exhibits before the court. On their part, both Einek and President Tinubu wrapped up their defense in both cases with one witness each, while the APC failed to produce any witness before the court. However, in their respective written addresses, the respondents, that is, Tinubu, APC, and INEC, urged the court to dismiss all the petitions for want of merit. They argued that the petitioners could not discharge the burden of proof placed on them by the law. According to the respondents, whereas the petitioners raised allegations that had elements of crime in them, they however failed to prove them beyond reasonable doubt as required by law. President Tinubu then urged the court to hold that he was validly returned as winner of the election by the INEC. Meanwhile, Atiku, in the joint petition he filed with his party, marked CA slash PEPC slash 05 2023, maintained that the declaration of Tinubu as winner of the presidential election was invalid by reason of non compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022 insisting that he was not duly elected by the majority of lawful votes cast at the election. He told the court that Tinubu cited as a second respondent was at the time of the election not qualified to contest. In a further process he filed through his team of lawyers led by Chief Chris Uche, SAN, Atiku told the court that the president-elect had demonstrated inconsistency as to his actual date of birth, secondary schools he attended, state of origin, gender, real name, certificates showing universities attended. Atiku and the PDP maintained that the purported degree certificate of the second respondent allegedly acquired at the Chicago State University did not belong to him but to a female, described as F in the certificate Bieren Bolatinubu. Atiku and the PDP further asserted that Bola Tinubu did not disclose his voluntary acquisition of the citizenship of the Republic of Guinea with Guinean passport number D0000-1551, 
in addition to his Nigerian citizenship to INEC. <laughs> Atiku Abubakar argued that the APC candidate did not meet the constitutional threshold and is constitutionally disabled from contesting for the office of President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Likewise, Obi and LP in the petition marked CA slash PEPC slash 03 slash 2023 argued that as at the time Tinubu's running mate, Senator Kashim Shetima, became the vice presidential candidate, he was still the candidate of the APC for the Bronu Central senatorial election. They equally challenged Tinubu's eligibility to contest the presidential election alleging that he was previously indicted and fined to the tune of $460,000 by the United States District Court in case number 93C4483 for an offence involving dishonesty and drug trafficking. On the ground that the election was invalid by reason of corrupt practices and non-compliance with the provision of the Electoral Act 2022, the petitioners argued that INEC acted in breach of its regulation and guidelines. The petitioners contended that the electoral body was in the course of the conduct of the presidential poll mandatorily required to prescribe and deploy technological devices for the accreditation, verification, continuation and authentication of voters and their particulars as contained in its regulation. Consequently, they prayed the court to not only hold that Tinubu was not qualified to contest the election, but also to declare that all the votes recorded for him were wasted due to his non-qualification and disqualification. That it be determined that on the basis of the remaining votes after discountenancing the votes credited to the second respondent, the first petitioner, Obi, scored a majority of the lawful votes cast at the election and had not less than 25% of the vote cast in at least two-thirds of the states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, and satisfied the constitutional requirements to be declared the winner of the February 25, 2023 presidential election. That it be determined that the second respondent, having failed to score one quarter of the votes cast at the presidential election in the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, was not entitled to be declared and returned as the winner of the presidential election held on February 25, 2023. In the alternative, the petitioner wants an order cancelling the election and compelling INEC to conduct a fresh election in which Tinubu, Shatima and the APC, listed as second, third and fourth respondents respectively, shall not participate. They urged the court to declare that since Tinubu was not duly elected by a majority of the lawful votes cast in the election, his return as the winner of the presidential election was unlawful, unconstitutional and of no effect whatsoever. In a further alternative prayer in the petition dated March 20, which will be filed through a team of lawyers led by Dr. Levi Uzoku, senior advocate of Nigeria, he wants the tribunal to hold that the presidential election was void on the ground that it was not conducted substantially in accordance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022 and the 1999 Constitution as amended. Likewise, an order cancelling the presidential election conducted on February 25, 2023 and mandating the first respondent to conduct a fresh election for the President, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Though five petitions were initially filed to nullify Tinubu's election, the Action Alliance AA on May 8 withdrew its case, even as the Action People's Party APP followed suit two days later by also discontinuing further proceedings on its own petition. The Allied People's Movement APM, which refused to withdraw its petition, had on July 24 adopted its final written address, and the court has since reserved its judgment on the petition. The APM in its petition marked CA 4 slash PEPC slash 04 slash 2023 argued that the withdrawal of Ibrahim Masari, who was initially nominated as the vice presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress APC, invalidated Tinubu's candidacy in view of Section 131C and 142 of the 1999 Constitution as amended.
The party argued that there was a gap of about three weeks between the period that Masari, who was listed as the fifth respondent in the petition, expressed intention to withdraw the actual withdrawal of his purported nomination and the time Tinubu purportedly replaced him with Senator Kashim Shatima. It further argued that Tinubu's candidature had elapsed when he nominated Shatima as Masari's replacement. We did very well. Thank you. 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 Thank you.